What's up? Welcome back to another video. It is Halloween time and this is our other Spooktober episode where we're going to react to a scary Reddit. I found this subreddit called Unexplained Photos and we're basically going to go through them and see what they got in here. I already kind of like saw like what was hot during today, uh -huh. but I, um, I changed it so it could be like the top of all time of all of the um posts that are on here yeah but i'm scared because from what i saw like on the first couple that i looked at i was shook i was like okay and it's gonna love this okay 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 i'm excited now <laughs> i kind of want to turn off the light huh? should we dare uh, uh, <laughs> 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 she starts bubbling it's a bleeding light like, from my fucking eyes and shit <laughs> Let me turn off the light. Let's get real. Like the only light's gonna be the the computer, and that's gonna okay. creep us out. Dude. But later, I don't want you to be like, "Baby, I'm scared." Oh, <laughs> spooky vibes. Spooky. So like, you're not so like, you're not no, sh don't say stuff like that because it's stop. <laughs> All right, you ready to see our spooky adventures here at Unexplained Photos? Let's see, we've never reacted to a subreddit before. Is it really scary? I don't know. We're about to find out. <laughs> You're making me nervous. <laughs> it's it's like, not like pop-up stuff, right? Because I'm going to kill I you. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This is my first. I only saw a, cop, a, a couple during like the day, and then I was like, oh, yeah, this is good to watch. Pop-up stuff? It was recommended. No, I don't want to I don't that. know if it has pop-up stuff. Relax. No. Like, <laughs> it says my friend bought a new camera and left it on charge when he was at the pub with me It sent him a notification that motion was detected back at home. I've told him to burn his house. What could it be? Oh, oh no, I'm scared now <laughs> Stop screaming <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore I'm gonna cry Watch you yell <laughs> <laughs> oh, tear up, man. Oh, look, captured this today around 2 a.m. No idea what made this noise. Can I put the volume up? Come on, baby. Fuck that shit. No, <laughs> take it off. <laughs> Fuck that. That no. like, you know what that sounded like? You're really gonna make me cry. Yeah. You know what it sounded like though? It sounded like Chloe when she has something in the back of her That's throat. That's why it's just the scariest part. <laughs> Chloe just choking on a no, drink. No, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. You guys heard of that? It was like... No, it, it went like... Oh. Oh. What the? <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> Let's replay. No! <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Or you listen to it. You okay, go. Okay, close your ears. Close your ears. Okay. okay. So that we can hear this. I can't hear nothing. Huh? I don't hear anything. Oh, it actually, you're right. It did sound like somebody going. Okay, Never mind. Can you stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, what did it sound like? It sounded like somebody going <gasps> like yeah, right, I don't right. like it. Damn, I don't know what that is. Uh, I didn't think I was gonna be more scared than you. <laughs> you literally are like this, and you're the one that's scared of zombies and all. But they're not zombies. That's different. But you're not scared of like something that might look like it. Right now? Like I'm just like shook that she's more brave right now. She's being more brave. Someone, someone explain the white face in the background above Jazz. From season, season one, episode one, two, from Big Friends of Bel Air. Oh, for Where? real, over right here. Oh, yeah. What the fuck? So, we just see this white face in the background? Yeah, seriously. Yeah, it that, yeah, it's a that, big face, too. But that could be like pareidolia, right? Like, yeah. it could be something just kind of like making it seem like it's a face, but it's not a face. Yeah. Like the reflection of something. Because that face looks huge. I mean, she looks scared. Look at her. 
Do you want to click on this? Or, or is... No, you click on it. <laughs> <laughs> it says a photo I found on my phone that was taken at 118. I live alone. Yeah. Um, on what? I don't know what it is. <laughs> you can... It's... Like, I mean, it could it's be the first, sheets right it looks here. Like it's a, it looks like it's a guy in a hospital. What? With How'd the you get all that? With the oxygen mask on. What? <laughs> oh my god, how are you getting all this? Like, you what have are you a, talking you, about? You don't see a to, person right there? To me, this looks like a pillow. So, like, sheets and a blanket right here. To and me, then this looks, just me, like, this could be just like the edge of the to bed. To me, it looks like... A person laying down, this is a head, oxygen mask, and this is the covers. And it's a person laying down. I can down. see what you're saying, but that's so insane to me. Like, how is that even possible? Nah, I think it's just like he accidentally took a picture with like, he must have like rolled on it or something. And then it's just like the side of his pillow, his the edge of his you're bed. You're just trying to dismiss everything. <laughs> Gettysburg Ghost. I took this several years ago in Gettysburg on a ghost tour. If you zoom in on the figure, you can definitely see some parts are transparent. There was nothing there when I aimed the camera, just trying to catch orbs. This was right before the Dobin house, known for being haunted. I don't see transparent. I don't see the transparency at Fake. all. Fake! There's a shadow, like on both sides of the fucking floor. That makes no goddamn sense. You know, if there was a ghost, it wouldn't be a shadow. Yeah. Am I right or am I right? <laughs> what the heck is this? What the fuck? On June 15th, 1989, a woman in Port St. Joe, Florida pulled off Route 98 into the parking lot of a junior food store. She found what appeared to be a Polaroid photo lying face down on the asphalt. Whoa. If I found a Polaroid like that, I would fucking trip out, dude. I'd be like, <gasps> I would I turn that shit in immediately. That is so sad. Oh, look, she picked it up and turned it over. The image she found was harrowing. In the photo, a young woman and younger boy lie on their backs in rumbled piles of mismatched sheets and pillows. Both look directly at the camera with express of tense resignation. Their mouths are covered with duct tape and their posture suggests that their wrists are bound behind them. The space they occupy in cramped and poorly lit. The only source of light seems to come in behind the photographer. The photo could well have been taken in the back of a windowless van with its side door pulled open. The woman who discovered the photo immediately notified local police. Roadblocks were hurriedly set up, but they failed to snare the van or the mustache man who had been in the driver's seat. At the time she disappeared, 19-year-old Tara Calco was a sophomore of Valencia Campus and University of New Mexico, a 50-minute commute from her family's home in Belen, New Mexico on the morning of September 20th, 1988. Tara set out from the home for a bike ride along Highway 47. The plan was to ride south 17 level miles to the railroad crossing and back. Tara had a tennis date after lunch, so she told her mother to come looking for her if she wasn't back by noon. She set out her mother's pinky huffy mountain bike. She was listening to a Boston cassette on her Sony Walkman. The That Tara Calico might, been, might be the young woman in Polaroid photo scene. A long shot at best, the photo was found in 1,600 miles mm. away from where Tara was last seen and some nine months later, but there was a few significant parallels. The young woman in the photo had the right hair color and complexion, a discolored patch on her on the young woman's right calf corresponding to a scar Tara had received in the car accident. A tattered mass market paperback lay on the rumpled bedding next to the girl. It was my sweet Audrey... Adrena by V.C. Andrews, one of Tara's favorite authors. The girl's face looked more drawn and narrow than the most recent photos of Tara. The pictures on the flyer and the posters, but long months had passed and she might have endured them under austere conditions. But some compelling than the girl's similarities appearance was the fact that the young boy in the foreground photograph bore a striking resemblance to another child who had gone missing in New Mexico. Michael Henley had vanished a mere five months before Tara, just 45 miles southwest of Billin, in the Cibola National Park. 
This chilling link between the Polaroid and New Mexico only amplified the mystery surrounding Tara's disappearance. Had some unknown person or person abducted both children? On April 21, 1988, Michael Henley, Henley of Milan, New Mexico disappeared on camping trip in the Ozo Ridge around the Zuni Mountains. Henley's father and family friends had brought the nine-year-old with them to hunt wild turkey. About 20 minutes after their arrival at the campsite, while the adults were busy setting up, Henley vanished. It seemed likely that he had wandered away from the campsite and got lost in a rough, craggy landscape. Then in June 1999, the case took an abrupt and decisive turn. The rancher riding a fence line discovered a scattering of bones in a thick copse, copse of jun junipers. The remains were those of a child and they were six or seven miles from the campsite where Michael Henley had disappeared more than two years earlier. Michael Henley was not the boy in the polar ride. So that was crazy. Yo, that's crazy. This this is the shit that gets me right here. Because this is real shit, dude. People get kidnapped and like all the time. Sad. That's fucking sad. Ooh, what is that? Unnoticed and identified man in Grand Canyon photo. That looks like a woman. I thought that was a woman. Wearing like a cloak. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's crazy. They could have been with him. Yeah. But then again, what if it wasn't? I know, I wouldn't, like, what if me and you go to, like, the Grand Canyon, like, taking pictures of you, and then Stop! all of a sudden... Stop! <laughs> the pianist thought he was alone in the concert hall. His photo tells a different story. Right there, this one. <clears throat> so there's, like, a, a lady standing at the top of the staircase, and then, oh, shit. He zoomed in on it, and... and Go to the description. For anyone raising an eyebrow of the previous post, these are the three quick tap photos taken in the quick session from that. Dang, son. So they thought he was alone and then... Wait a second. Look it. She's what? still there. In the third one. No, she's not. Yes, she is. You can mm. see right through. You see what I'm saying? Because look, there's nobody here on the first picture. Then all of a sudden, this one one lady with a long white dress comes out with a, a brunette. It looks like the girl from The Shining. Oh, yeah, kind of. Yeah, and look, she still has her hair here. and her, But like you, you can see the transparency of the bottom part of her. Like, this is all like nice and shaded in, and then this is all like loopy. Whoa. That is crazy. Those are the creepiest ones to me. If you take like, like random pictures and then they're all the, of a sudden, they're the creepiest ones to me too. But uh, what if they just made it up? That's that's the whole problem. Like unless you're the one that captures them, how can you prove it to other people? You know. Empty crash car left on the road. Person shows up in the picture. Ooh, click on it. Right here. Whoa. It looks like a very bad photo. Shop 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 oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> they don't oh let anything god. be real. My mom and her sisters and friends go on yearly girl vacations. One of their friends passes away a few months before. In the photo, my aunt's legs are missing. They believe it was their ghost friend sitting in front of her. Oh yeah. Oh, that's crazy. What if she has her legs crossed, though? No. No, you could still see. Yeah, you would, you still would see something. To see. I don't know about a ghost fucking completely obstructing her legs, but maybe, like, you would see something. Like, I'm trying to, like, match up their legs. Like, this lady is back here. That's her leg, yeah. right? This lady, she has that long drape thing, so this is her legs. This one would be her. This one would be yeah. her. And it's crazy because like she's like in between something. You see her legs like in between yeah. like something. Go to the comments. There isn't any. Hold on, let me see. Oh yeah, she's sitting sideways and her legs are in the white pants to no, the side. No, she's not. But she's, but she's, she's not, not sitting, sitting sideways. sideways. She would literally be tw yeah. twisting her whole she's not body to that. That's not enough for for me to say she's sitting sideways. I would not no. I don't know about like and a if ghost. And she was. Wouldn't her legs be like? At an at an angle, like a, like her leg would be like right here, yeah, like twisting, like, no, and her 
her whole torso yeah, would be like, like okay so like i'm so trying like to this Like, you would be at an angle little. She's just straight. Yeah. I don't know. No, no. I don't think... Like, it, the most logical thing for me would be that she's sitting with her legs up. Okay, this should debunk this. the ghost theory. I cruelly eliminate, eliminated the reflection, which was also playing tricks on the eyes. As you can see, it's definitely legs and hips to the side. Let me see. There is no way that I see her no. twisted and like, those like are her, her legs, like her knees, are too this way to, for it to. It would trip me out like, more. No, mommy. Yeah, no. it would trip me out more if it was her twisted all the way over. It's still managing How to keep. How would you see the other legs of the ladies behind her then? Wouldn't the ghost? Block yeah, her legs yeah. In front the of logic of the ghost those? blocking the legs, I don't no, like no, it. No, no, it's no. obviously that she had her fucking legs up. They're saying now that it looks like her arms are resting on her knees. Oh, I mean that is a possibility, but I mean. Like she's sitting like this, like with her like, knees up. My knees right yeah, here. Yeah, like that. Okay, that that kind of explains. But then I would see the tippy toes here. Or no, 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 no. <laughs> I would see the tippy toes. <laughs> we're just never gonna yeah. like agree with this. This one is a good one because yeah, we're like, what one. the fuck? What is that? We couldn't explain that at all. That was uh, that was good. Okay, guys. Back to reality. <laughs> yes, I like light. <laughs> yeah, I'm, my wife was about to have a panic attack on me. Oh god, it's sweaty up in here. Now I'm a little creeped out. There is a couple creepy <laughs> ones. Now, I feel like. Yeah, but. Can you not, lady? You get it. I know. <laughs> oh, good girl. Alright guys, well we're gonna let you guys go now. We're gonna be with our beautiful pets and <laughs> relaxing and trying to unwind because I'm already creeped out. Please let me know in the comments below if you guys have any suggestions of like what other subreddits we should check out during the Halloween oh, yeah. time now. So we'll do a couple videos yeah. if you guys want us to look at some creepy subreddit. Anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to give us a thumbs up if you did. Make sure to turn on your notifications that way you get notified every time we post a video. Make sure to subscribe because it really helps us out. We'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.